Welcome, welcome back, Soul Family. I hope everybody's doing good this evening today. I always wish you love and light. Namaste to all of you. Welcome to my channel. My name is Diana. My channel's name is Scorpio Magic Tarot. All right, so today's going to be a very popular video. I wanted to do for a long time on my channel. Uh, I learned this when I was traveling to Mexico for vacation. And there's a shamanic healer that cleansed me with an egg. She said, you need to be cleansed. Let me give you a story time. So the first thing I want to say is to you, always, 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 let's get those vibrations up. Welcome, Monsi. Hey, hi, vibrations. So something happened to me terrible today. I burned my hands very badly. I can barely move this. It's all swollen and red right here. And I burned this hand too. So, and out of nowhere, I'm always careful when it comes to microwave. I burned it badly. I thought I was going to go to the hospital. I never screamed in my life the way I screamed today, and the pain was cruciating, and I was hysterical crying. So the first thing I want to ask you, please make sure you do subscribe, share, like, and comment. I am okay. I am in pain, but I'm okay. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can be notified when I do go live. And smash that like button. Super Chat is always open for donations. Those who give will always will receive. All right, all the information how to reach me for a personal reading or a healing session is going to be in the about section. So this is a very old, old remedy, but it works. It works. And I want to show you an example of mine. I just did right now and you will see what's going on with me and who wished me bad luck. And I want to tell you how to do this. Okay. So let's do, it's called in Spanish, limpia de huevo. Huevo, huevo is an egg in Spanish. And please share this video as much as you can. Share it, share it, share it, share it. So egg cleansing removes negative energy. If you feel somebody did evil eye on you, if you feel somebody did witchcraft on you, if you feel you have psychic attacks, you have insomnia, if you feel all of a sudden like I burned out of nowhere, but I never burned myself in my whole life and i burnt myself badly like i can't even move his hands i can't shuffle cards so um let's do this okay so i'm going to give you instructions step one the first thing that you need is to cleanse your space before you start this so you could use frankincense incense or myrrh incense i prefer frankincense you need to light up an incense when you start egg cleansing, egg cleansing is for your good. If you feel like there's bad luck and like nonstop tower moments, tower moments in your life, this is going to be for you. All right, instructions. Either frankincense or myrrh. I have frankincense right here to remove negative energy. You also need one egg. It could be, it doesn't matter what color is the egg. It doesn't matter what size is the egg. I prefer colds, okay? You take it out, maybe leave it like 20 minutes in the room temperature. You need egg. You need either polio santa or sage to cleanse or florida water okay to cleanse the space you could cleanse the egg too before you start you would need to turn on the white candle any white candle you could do these last for four point four and a half hours you would need to light up a white candle and incense before you do an egg cleanse okay so white candle not red not blue white whoever is coming in make sure you get those likes up and share this video with your free gems. Because I burned my hand terrible. Like, two hands are gone. Oh, my God. So I knew somebody said, I'm on social media. People are watching me. There's a lot of fucking haters. And I know I have to protect my energy. All right? So white candle, either Florida water, Palio Santo. I also use this. This is for Reiki, as Sam this also protects you. Shamanic little drums protects you from negative energy. Used by Native Americans, okay? Okay, and you would need a pinch of salt. So I don't have on me salt right now. Uh, I'm not going to get up. You would need a pinch of salt, okay? Please get those likes up. I'm not going to do this. There's five people who only need one like. Let's get those likes up. Smash that like button, Okay. You would need, uh, this is my cleanse I just did right now, and I will interpret this for you. You would need a tall glass of water, um, preferably not tap water. If you have no spring water, use tap water. 
okay, also, that at the end, you would need, if you're returning into the sender, which I am, I don't know who did it to you, but I'm returning into the sender, whoever did this to me, you, I will do this ground black pepper, garlic pepper, and crushed red pepper, okay, you would need, again, I want to say, crushed red pepper, all right, ground black pepper, and garlic pepper, because I'm going to return it to the sender. So I'm going to give you an example of what I, this is mine, okay? So what you would do, when you light up your candle, your white candle, all right, you light up your white candle, you light up your incense at the same time, either frankincense or myrrh, you have to say a prayer before you cleanse yourself. A prayer to Archangel Michael specifically, Archangel Michael, and you need to, okay, Archangel Michael. Or your D, because Archangel Michael is the one that protects you. Or whoever you, if you're working with Santa Muerte, Santa Muerte. If you're working with your deities, your gods, your goddesses, Kali, uh, Oshun, Yemaya, um, Elegua, whatever, Erzelia, whoever you're working with, you pray to that person, okay? I pray to Archangel Michael before I start cleansing myself, before I get up. I'm going to say a prayer, dear Archangel Michael. Please protect me from all negative energies that are surrounding me, that are, that are sent to me, okay? Protect me from evil eye. Protect me from all negative energy that is sent towards me, my family, my home, my place, all right? Please give me abundance. Please protect me. Please give me protection, your love, and abundance. After you finish say a God to someone to be or amen, I would then get up, for example, I'm not going to show you, you would get up, and when you get up, when you get up, do not touch your skin with an egg. Don't do that. Unless, unless you're very sick, you're either your back or somewhere you're very sick, and you're going to a shamanic practitioner who is a professional in egg cleansing like I am, who knows exactly what they're doing. They're going to focus on one thing. If it's ovaries, they're going to focus on ovaries. Then they will touch it. Do not touch your skin with an egg. You're going to start with your head. The crown chakra is right here. The crown. And you're going to go in circles to your forehead, circles to your eyes, to your nose, to your mouth, to your neck, to your heart, to your shoulders, to your hands. Circular motions. Circular motions. And then to your legs and to your feet all the way down, okay? When you finish cleansing yourself, you would take a glass of water with salt inside of it. See, I just did mine. And we're going to return to center. And then you would crack the egg inside the glass of water with a pinch of salt inside of it. See how I cracked my egg? I'm giving you an example already. We're going to interpret my egg. I wanted to show you to you my example. You see those damn spikes going up? Woo! Shit. And there were bubbles inside the egg also right here on the top. There's bubbles too. So this is my egg that I'm going to interpret for you guys right now. So you would wait for two or three minutes. I already waited for 10 minutes. So of course there's bubbles. And I saw eight bubbles. Eight people did this to me. Send me negative energy. Send me evil eye. Jealousy, enemy surrounding me. Spikes are going up. Do you see the spikes are going up? So, of course, somebody wants you to be confused. Somebody's sending you bad luck. Somebody wants you to be sick. Okay, negative vibes. All right, the egg is also cloudy on the bottom. Confusion. All right, they want you to be, when it comes to your career and finances, it is bad. Money, bad. Work life, bad. Okay. So I'm just giving you an example of mine. If you would see a red dot, that means blood. Somebody's causing you, is doing witchcraft on you. If you are seeing a lot of spikes up, everything is going up. That means a lot of negative energy is sent towards you. Please get those likes up. Okay, guys. If you are seeing a figure of an animal, that means you're having dreams about a spirit animal contacting you. If you see a figure of a person, then that person did that to you. If you see the egg is in the middle, then it's mantling. And there's a lot of witchcraft and negative energy is done towards you. Please get those likes up. So this is my example that I did to myself. 
because I burned myself and my hands are swollen and it was cruciating pain. So I put them right away in the cold water and I used um, the pain relief gel aloe vera and I also used antibiotic treatments for my burns. But somebody did send me negative energy. So now what I want to do, I'm returning it to the sender. I do not know who did this to me exactly. If you know the name, then you would write the name. I'm going to put black pepper, okay? Ground black pepper. I'm going to take my black pepper. I'm going to open it, and I'm going to put black pepper. Okay, I'm going to say return to the sender. Whoever did this to me, I return it to you back. Tenfold. I'm putting the black pepper inside the can. Oh, God, the, the glass. You see? Black pepper. Then I'm using the crushed red pepper. Okay? I return to the sender. Let it come back tenfold to you. Whatever the spikes and the evil eye that you sent me that I burned my hand, I burn tenfold to you. The intention, okay? And then I use the garlic pepper, okay? I return tenfold to you. Return to the sender. What I do afterwards is I'm going to go to the bathroom. I'll come back in one second. And I'm going to flush this in the toilet. All right? I'll be all right back. Be right back. Okay, so then I would clear the cup, and I will use only this cup for egg cleansing. <coughs> Excuse me, please. So you would just use one cup, preferably, for egg cleansing. Do not drink from this cup again. Do not give it a drink to anybody else. You would use it again. So I did return to the sender by using my crushed red pepper, garlic pepper, and black pepper, okay? And I feel already my eyes are clear, my voice is clear, I feel better. Um, the burn that I had was very bad. I boiled some, uh, I went to, you know, my husband was coming home. I went to heat up the soup in the microwave. And for three minutes, it was boiling hot. And I took a little um, towel, dish towel, to put underneath it's hot, to put it on the table here, my dining table. And when I was coming towards it, my hand slipped and it felt hot boiling water. The screams, I never screamed in my life. And my husband got so scared, he didn't know what to do with himself. Because how to help me, because the pain is so, you're welcome, Bierta. The pain, Super Chat is always open for donations, guys. All right? The pain is so terrible to the point um, that I couldn't control myself. And I, I felt this energy, I had these dreams and nightmares and... It's Mercury retrograde dreams um, of people trying to come back in my life. And I just felt this like energy, like something is happening. So I just did an egg cleanse. I recommend everybody to do an egg cleanse. Um, to remove, if you feel like there's blockages in your finances, if you feel like there's blockages in your um, job, you can't find a job, or you have court case, if you have... Um, you know, family members that are toxic, um, toxic husband, boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever your situation is, I can't even light the cigarette with my right hands at all. If you feel <coughs> there are negative energies, so you have sleepless nights, you have so much overthinking, you feel like there's blocks after blocks, there's blocks after blocks, then you are definitely 
then you are definitely have negative energy towards you. Okay, I would like I went to a, I went to Mexico for vacation to a five star resort in um, Cancun, Riviera Maya, and I met a shaman healer there that was like ten years ago, and this healer said, you know, you need to do an egg cleanse. Why? I said. This person told me that you need to do an egg cleanse because there is so much on your crown chakra. There's so much negative energy and jealousy towards you. And you have evil eye on you. I, right now, of course, there were protection from evil eye crystals. I wear bracelets. I wear ankle bracelets from evil eye. Oh, my God. I'm protected highly. I work with Didi's and Santeria and Yoruba and Mambo and... Um, Apollo and a conjure and hoodoo. So I am protected from every corner. But at that time, I didn't know how to protect myself. So this person helped me, did an egg cleanse. And what this person showed me that was in the glass, I was petrified. I, I was in shock. Okay. Um, afterward, I felt so relieved. So such an ease so comfortable like everything is i'm seeing clearly like everything is i'm not confused anymore i can make a decision i know what i want you know what i, mean? I know where i'm gonna go next um <coughs> and there was an ease in my life and blockages blocks are being lifted do you have any questions about this TJ, you need to do an egg cleanse. A professional egg cleanse. I do professional egg cleanses, but the thing is, I, I do it in person. And I'm located in North Carolina. So if you can get to North Carolina to me in person, I will do, I do spiritual cleansing, I do candle spell consultations. I don't do dark work unless somebody fucks with my family. I just got here. How do, how do I do it? You got to watch the video from the beginning. If there is any questions about what I just showed you, you're in Pennsylvania. Well, you need to get to North Carolina. Otherwise, you have to find somebody next to you that does this. If you don't know what you're doing, if you don't, if you don't believe in it, number one, if you don't believe in it, it's not going to work. You have to believe in this. If you just do this out of the get-go, say, oh, let me try it. It's not a game. It's not a joke, okay? Because I'm telling you, the way I burn my hands today is no joke. So um, whatever questions you have right now, you could ask me, guys. If there are any questions, you could ask me about egg cleanse. I definitely feel so much lighter and so much better. And you feel like clean, it cleansed. You have to rewatch. I'm very intrigued. Okay, TJ, subscribe, share, like, and comment. Also, guys, when I upload this video, there is a new thing that I, um, you know, you could only send super chat when I'm live, but there is a new thing I enabled. They told me I am eligible for that. There's a thanks there where you could donate if you want to. So after this video is uploaded, you will see a thanks button next to a share button, I think. And you could donate whatever you want to just for the future reference. I'm letting you know. So if there are no questions going once, if there are any questions about this egg cleanse, what I showed you, please let me ask me right now. I have the time to do that. See, I can move my left hand, but I barely can move my right hand. I really got burned badly. And I'm scared I'm going to have blood. But I put my hand in cold water right away. I use a pain relief gel. The aloe vera one, I use antibiotic treatment, triple antibiotic, but it's still, I'm in pain. I cannot wash the dishes. I I barely can drive. I mean, I can't drive, but it hurts. You know what I mean? Please do your research before you do this. Knowledge is power. If there are no questions, guys, I love you and I'll see you soon. Bye.